How is she doing, Randy? Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, YBP Michael. YBP Game, YBP MMA, YBP Boxing. Coming at y'all with two videos in one day. Um, uh, unfortunately, this video is going to be like a little late. Um, just because, um, I don't know. The cars were way earlier today. Like, if this was, this was like a regular car. Like, right now, it's like 2 o'clock and I'm filming the video. Usually, like, the cars don't even start till like 4 and then they go later. So, it was an early car. I'm sorry. I slept in. Um, but I'm gonna at least get the main card in and I was also busy making the uh, Misfits boxing video. So uh, I'm just sorry about that, but we um, It sucks. I didn't turn in all my like topology picks, but um, On fliff I had made on my on fliff. I had made picks. This is not gonna show the full card, but uh, If we can look here event page There we go All the predictions I did submit went in, but um, I yeah I, I actually posted that on on Tapology. So uh, Tanara, this boy, I looked at the tape for that fight. Um, I'll just go through the fights that have already happened. Um, to, to, to cut it to cut it short, like I'm only gonna be doing the main card picks for this video prelims. It's too late; they already happened, so I can't really like get my predictions out for them. But just to break it down, I did uh, watch this boy's like tape, um, and she looked. She looked really good on the ground. I saw her like she had decent takedown. I knew it was gonna be a close fight, but I, I was leaning towards Lubus Boy. And uh she I think she started off as an underdog, but then she she started like getting into a bigger, bigger favorite and she showed it getting the rear naked choke. And then I picked Brian Battle. He was like my like my underdog. Um I had I have Fliff evidence, but I have evidence on Fliff. I did did put coins on him. Uh if I could find it. I did put I could probably find my Fliff ID. I did put uh, coins on him, so, uh, yeah, Ryan Battle was my lock of the week, I just thought, like, you know, game green, and the fight ended in 14 seconds, uh, like, I saw the highlights for it, it was, like, really good knockout, but let me find it real quick, just so I got the proof of the people, you know, um, yeah, y'all can see Douglas, Douglas, oh, shoot, Douglas De Silva on the rise. I don't know if y'all can see that, I got Douglas there, I picked him, had him, uh, obviously, I have Jalton. I have Johnny. I'm going to get to those later. Morono, Oberg. Uh, where was... Bro, did I not put Battle in a parlor? I swear I hit Battle. Did I not pick Battle? Oh, I sold. Why did I not pick Battle? Oh, I did. Okay, here. It, they already cashed this win. But yeah, I did have Battle. I felt really good about him. I had Lisboa, obviously. But I had... Uh, like of all the, there's a guy on YouTube. Shout out to him. His name's um, he works for We Want Picks. I forgot his name, but he does like a thing like Lock of the Week, and I always try to find like an underdog that like, um, that I think is like shouldn't be an underdog. He does a similar thing. This week he did Johnny Walker, but I I was so certain that he was gonna pick Brian Battle. Um, he did pick Brian Battle, so I was like, man, I mean, something's wrong. Um, see, I picked him. I just thought like, um, this uh, his like. He has, he's really good on the ground. Even though he got dominated by Renat Fakran Denov, um, he got dominated by that guy. But still, he showed heart. Even if he did get taken down by Game Green, he was going to get up. But, it's I mean, the fight ended in 14 seconds. Like, none of that stuff even matters. He just had really good striking. So, I like I liked his reach and all that stuff. Did not think Game Green would come out, like, swinging like that. So, it was one of those things where it's like, I got the right answer, but wrong method. So, uh, we'll take it, though. I'll take it every day. And then, Mandy Bum, I... I uh, picked Ji Young Kim because I'd watched both their tapes, about both their fights, and Ji Young Kim um, was a bigger striker. But I'm starting to see like a theme, like when it comes to these, like, and it looked like it was a technical split decision, like the fight ended early. So on Tapology, I picked Mandy Bum by decision, but on Fliff, I did it. I picked uh, Ji Young Kim. Um, she, yeah, at least from the from the odds I seen, like there was there was definitely value on Mandy Bum by decision. Like it should have been a pick 'em, just because they're both strikers, like. G Young Kim wasn't that much better from the tape I saw. So, and then Douglas the Silver on draw, y'all saw on Fliff. I picked him. Uh, I mean, they just look like equals. Like I said, I in these type of fights, you just gotta pick the underdog. Like, yeah, bro. Like, at least they they just seem like the same to me. Like, the, 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 the Douglas the Silver on draw seem like a little bit better to me, but they like they equals almost. So, went with Silver on draw. It worked out in this case. But I mean, Carl Williams lock of the night for me. I always love picking. This is a fight that was rescheduled. I think I did a. Um, uh, what event was that supposed to be? It was supposed to be a UFC when Yan fought Marab. 
Um, I I don't think I had started making videos back then, but he was like my lock with that. But then that got canceled. Uh, got rescheduled to this event. So yeah, I always love Carl Williams. Uh, it's a decision. He's not a finisher at heavyweight. Um, but yeah, Chase Sherman, man. I mean, he's just mid. Um, he has his teammate on the car, Ian Gary. So maybe hopefully Ian Gary can get his dub. But yeah, and then Matt Brown. I didn't really have a pick for this to be. I'm not gonna like, like yeah, I, I didn't have a pick. I didn't. I was I was planning on see the thing is the reason I didn't make my picks on topology quite yet because I have my early leans and stuff so I just put that in the flip but I don't make my picks on topology until like I do research for each card and I didn't get to like I did research for all these I started from the bottom because then I knew I knew a fairly amount about like the main event co-main event I had leans but I was wait this was the one Morono Tim means I have something in mind. But Matt Brown and Cormac, yeah, I had no idea. I was gonna, I was wait, I was gonna do tape. I, mean, I did tape study on every single like other fight except that one. Um, so you can kind of see, you can see that. And then I was split on Douglas De Silva on Drowsy Coach Stadium, so I was gonna go watch some tape on it, but um, just so I could be hundred percent sure on my pick. But my early lean was Douglas uh, De Silva there on Draj. So yeah, I mean, if you want to count it, I say I'm five and one right now. Or yeah, five and one. If you want to say that, or four and two, but five and one, undefeated on topology right now, just for my for my leans. Or no, not five and zero. Oh. I I haven't missed a pick. So because the Matt Brown called me Guillermo, you know. So let's. But that doesn't matter. That's in the past. That's all hypothetical. This is the main card. Um, nothing's happened yet. Uh, but let's right into the picks. Um, how do we yet? No intro. No intro. I'm, I'm getting straight into. It. I'm just trying to like get this video out real quick. Because, like, they're, the fights are about to start. I'm just going to zip through these. Uh, first fight right here. We got Tim Lee. Is there a way I can... Uh, let's see here. So, how would I... Oh, okay. This is fun. All right. Yes, I didn't make a prediction on this, unfortunately. Uh, but Tim Lee's Alex Morono. I did make one on Verdict, though. So, but um, for for this fight, uh, I'm leaning I'm leaning Alex Morono. Just because, you know, Tim Lee's... Veteran, but he's on like a little two fight losing streak. I thought he clearly lost to Max Griffin and then Holland. That's I mean getting choked up by Holland. Holland's good and all, but but he's definitely past his prime. Uh, thirty nine years old, forty. So age advantage going to Alex Morono. He's gonna have a little reach advantage, I'd assume. Yeah, so he's like taller and stuff. But Morono, like he looked great against um a veteran in Santiago Ponzinibbio, who I think is better than Tim Means. Um, great striker there. And um, he was winning the fight until he wasn't. So, uh, great to see that evolution. I thought Santiago was going to run through him, and he stayed in there. He, you know, he kept fighting. And, um, yeah, I like Morono here, man. The great white versus the dirty bird. I think the great white's going to get it done. Um, there's a reason why he's his minus 225 favorite. And, uh, yeah, I think it's smooth sailing from here. I think he's going to get the job done. Um, by Morono, by... By third round KO, TKO, third round TKO. Uh, Olberg, I'm not really gonna talk too much about this because I, I think this this is easy right here, bro. This is so light. I mean, I made my prediction like as soon as this fight got announced, Olberg first round KO. The better bet, if you were gonna bet on the fight, I would say the better bet is like fight not to go the distance. But like Pator like Potieria, like he's from Ukraine. Um, they got they got similar dimensions. Let me see. 75 inch reach, 72 inch reach. They're both around the same height. But like the thing that really I mean, Ulbricht's just a better striker all around. Um Potieri just kinda like hopes, like swings and hopes, bro. Like and he, he gets out of like fights like doing that. But just pure technical, like striking ability goes to Oberg. I think he hits a little harder too. Um Ulbricht's just better. In all in all FS. I think he's gonna run through Potieri, man. It's just it's gonna be bad. I mean obviously anything can happen at light heavyweight, like these these heavier divisions. Potieri could catch him with like a big shot, but I think ultimately like this is all Olberg. I feel really good about him. He's he's like one of my locks for sure on the main card. Uh a lot of locks to be honest, I feel good about. Then there's uh, D Rod versus Ian Gary. Um Honestly, I'm very shocked by, like, the public opinion. I feel like people just, like, they, you'll have a fighter who, like, is kind of unlikable that people don't like, 
and because they're unlikable, they'll try to create like narratives like, oh, like this is gonna happen, and this is, like if D Rod were to fight like a similar level like prospect like Ian Gary who had like a similar skill set, I think I don't know I, something about Ian. I mean, Ian Gary did get knocked out by Kina Song, but he came back and showed resilience. They showed that he has that fighting spirit in him. So I don't understand why people are like all of a sudden random off like oh, not writing him off because he is a minus three six three on the favorite, but. D. Rod is not a good dog in this spot. Like he just got embarrassed by Neil Magny. I mean, everyone has bad days, of course. But and then I thought he lost to Li Jingliang fight. He looked decent in that fight, but again, Li Jingliang that's not even his weight class, really. Um, he's fighting a guy like heavier than him. So, uh, yeah, I mean the Neil Magny fight opened my eyes, man. That's just atrocious. But if it's just gonna be a striking battle, I mean Ian Gary, he's really good on the feet. Um. He's in the guy's head, bro. He, he like, uh, I think he transported like some pizza to his like hotel room, and then the guy misses weight. So that was really funny. I like the game this year, and he looks like a star. Like he has that like Connor. Um, I mean, he's always gonna get the Connor like comparisons because he's Irish and all that stuff. But he has good striking. He does get caught a little bit, so he's a little defensively irresponsible. But D Rod's an old man. I don't understand like the narrative like going with him that he's gonna win this fight. Like it's all Ian Gary, man. I hope I hope Ian Gary gets it done. Ian Machado Gary. Um, I'm cheering for him. You know, I I, I did. It's funny, because back in the day, I picked Gabe Green to beat him by decision. But ever since that fight, ever since Gary beat him, and then I've seen the Keenan Song fight, where he got knocked down, uh, knocked out almost, and came back and won the fight, I've just been a fan. Like, that's the resilience. That's showing toughness. Um, a lot of people like to look at the bad stuff in situations like that. But in, in that type of scenario, where you get knocked down and you come back, like a Ryan Garcia or something like that, like, you just got to look at the fight and be like, man, like, Obviously, you don't want to get touched like that again because we saw Garcia, you know, sometimes you just can't come back from getting knocked out. It's not that easy, but um, you got to love the resilience. You got to love the toughness, and um, I think he's going to show it, show out today. He's going to beat D-Rod for sure. All right, next fight, we got a oh, co-main event. We already here, bro. Let's see. I like I like these a little more. Maybe I'll just do main events. Maybe I'll just do main events. But obviously, we got to do the prelims. It's got to be like all of it next time. I, I got to tell next week. This, this is kind of a, a like, the card's kind of trash, but it's all right. We're still breaking down. Early prediction, Angela Hill is going to decision McKinley Dern. But that's beside the point. Right here, we got Anthony Smith versus Johnny Walker. And uh, you know I love me some Johnny Walker. Uh, I, I, I got the prediction with him, round 2 KO. And I've been going back and forth with this because, like, Smith, I think he's a little more well-rounded because he has that the wrestling, maybe. Um, he has, like, a, the submission game. Uh, a lot of stuff in his arsenal. He's, like, the veteran. And I think they put Johnny Walker in this position to kind of knock Smith off and uh, be that next guy up, even though he did lose to Jamal Hill and um, some of those other guys. But he, he's on, like, a little win streak. He beat um, Ian Kutalaba, and then he, he knocked out Paul Craig. That was a great fight. Great quick fight. He's knocking these guys out quick, man. He's, uh, he's having a little, like, resurgence, you know? I see on his IG story, he's, like, jumping up, like, almost touching the sky with his knee. He's on this, like, kind of tear. Um, Anthony Smith, he was on a good little win streak, too. Um, beat Devin Clark, submitted him. Um, KO Jimmy Crew, and then submitted Ryan Spinner, but then he lost to Magomed on Kalaya, which, honestly, um, you know, with some better judging, could be the champ right now. Um... Yeah, honestly, I think he, he probably is the best lightweight in the world. Um, so, losing to him is not so bad. But when I look at the fight, um, you know, a lot of stuff going on with Anthony Smith. Uh, it looks like he has, like, a step he's, he's step out the door a little bit. Like, he wants to be an analyst at some point, doing that stuff. Uh, definitely talk about retiring. And he knows the position that he's in. Like, this is, you know. So, probably going to be his last, last time out. I'd assume, uh, with like a knockout, I could definitely see him retiring. And um, all in all, yeah, I got Johnny Walker by a knockout in round two. Probably should have put round one, but we'll, we'll stay. I'll stick with my gut round two. Um, yeah, man, Johnny Walker, man, he's him. He's going to uh, start piling on this win streak, and hopefully we see him in a, in a title a title fight. Next fight, we got the main event, Georgina Rose strike versus Jonathan Almeida. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Jalton Almeida is your next heavyweight champion of the world. I think Jalton would absolutely kill Jones. Um, now I think if you keep if you keep Jalton away from like a guy like Sergey or something like that, as long as you yeah, because th those guys are a little too big for me. You're like Curtis maybe. Keep it away from those guys. 
I think, man, he, he storches, bro. He would starch God. Come on, bro. He would kill God. He would actually make God his son. He would like, ooh. Man, he would take him down. He would choke. He would play with him, bro. I don't care the size difference they get that fight. Like, you know, he took down big old Shamil Abdurakimov. You know what I mean? And he has good striking. I think it was an amateur boxing champion, amateur kickboxing champion. Um, I love Jazina Rose Strike. Uh, fun fact, he was actually one of my favorite fighters uh, coming up. You know, I used to love uh, the first ever fight, UFC fight I ever watched uh, was Dan Hooker. I think uh, the, the, the fight that put me on that made me like a UFC fan was Dan Hooker versus Dustin Poirier. Great fight. You got to go rewatch that. Um, and it was great. I mean, that had me hooked. It's like one of the best fights in history. It was like one of those ES free ESPN cards um, or ABC or whatever. So got me hooked on that. I used to love Hooker. I used to love Poirier. Uh, and then I love Biggie Boy. You know, Biggie Boy. Uh, I was cheering for him against Gon, but like his fight for like before Gon. I'm trying to see like he had a fight like where he was knocking out. Uh, who did he knock out? He lost uh yeah, I think he had knocked out JDS. Oh yeah, the Miocic Cormier three card. Um one of these fights. When he was going on his like little little streak, like I was a big fan of him, you know. He was from Suriname too. Uh I just thought he was like really cool. So he was one of my favorite fighters, but you know, lost to God. So that was like oh shoot, you know what I mean? So I, I, I kinda hopped out the bandwagon a little bit after that. But I, I'm always cheering for him a little bit whenever he's fighting. Like when he when he knocked out Dawkins, that was a really cool moment for me. We knocked out Sakai. Uh, yeah, beat Docs in the last fight. Ah, I suck, bro. And then he lost to Volkov. That sucks. But anyways, my new fandom is, is sort of coming for Jonathan Almeida. Um, hey, he's just such a... Oh, he's so nice, bro. Like, that, that that's a star right there. I think the, the main theme of this whole card is, like, prospects, prospects, prospects. We have Ian Gary. We have Jonathan Almeida. You know, we have a couple of other guys. Like, this is this is the time for, like, the stars to shine, really. And I think Jonathan's going to get it done. Uh, round one submission. Uh, we saw there there could be some danger. He can be like a little defensively irresponsible. He got caught with a little shot by Shamil Abdurakimov, um, like an overhand right. And honestly, if Jorginho does that same thing to him, he's going out. I don't care who he is. Like he's a tough guy. Obviously, Jalton he can need some shots, but at the same in the same breath, if Jalton takes down Jorginho, he's not getting up. You know, I don't I don't like he got taken down by Blades. I think he he might have got taken down by Gone. I don't like that for him. So yeah, man. I, all in all, man, I I, I love Johnson. I, I hope he, I don't know, he, he has to at some point pick a division because he's 220, he's like a little small. I would love to see him like, take a year off and maybe like build some muscle, get that like gone build or like John Jones type build because um, he's 220 right now, it's like 230. So I'd love to see that for him. I mean, he looks just like me, man. He got like, you know, lanky build, all that stuff, you know what I mean? He got that, you know, that lanky build right there. You, you know, yeah, bro. So he got that lanky build. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I want I want to be like him when I grow up, you know what I mean, type stuff. So, yeah, I, I love a guy like Jalton, you know, taking these guys down. Good striking, good, you know, good kicks, all that stuff. So, I want to see him succeed. I want to get to the next level. Unfortunately, it's at the at the cost of Rosenstrike. Um, and I didn't like what Rosenstrike was saying, talking about, like, oh, like, the UFC made me take this fight, and I don't really want to be here. Uh, if it was up to me, I wouldn't be fighting Jalton. Like, that's not the right mentality to have. Like, you got to go out there and be like, I'm going to kill this contender. I'm going to kill this prospect, and y'all going to know my name. So, that's, I don't like, he's, he's on some, eh, you know, I don't want to do this work. I'm too cool for school. So, I like Jalton here. Round one submission, round one KO, just anything. I Jalton by finish, because you know, he's a minus 500, you know, favorite. You got to know that. But, yeah, let's get to the locks, my locks. Just to put it on record, I have... Oh, no, that's not good. Let's go here. I have your boy. Rose Almeida is a lock. Uh, Gary, lock. Oldberg, lock. Those are your locks right there. If you probably those together, I think you could get like minus 200 odds. Or minus 127 odds or something like that. Um, and then I like I like Oldberg not to go to the Oldberg uh, to put here not to go to the distance. Out uh Childs and Jorginho, Rose Strike. Um, not to go to the distance. Smith, not to go with this. You could probably parlay all those together. I like Ian Gary by decision. If you're going for like a like a, a prop of how they're gonna get it done, I like Ober by KO. I love uh, Walker by KO. I love Jalton by finish. Um, maybe you sprinkle a little bit on uh, Jorginho by KO as well. And now like this fight over two and a half. Tim Means versus Alex Morano. I think that fight's it's gonna be a barn burner. I don't think it's gonna be a finish. So yeah, mark those down. I'm, I'm, that was a lot. But yeah, uh, that's the car right there. Real quick, 
put it together for y'all. Two videos in a day. KSI Fournier and Rosen Strike Almeida. Uh, I might, maybe, maybe we'll put out a, a video for uh, Rolando Romero and uh, Ishmael Barroso having it on Showtime tonight. It's later, so I dropped two videos in the morning, maybe a video at night, three videos in a day, three P. I thank the, you know what I mean? Hey, bro. Yeah, y'all know, hey, hey. Y'all know my, you know, I used to have a rap career. I had a song called Trifecta, so, you know, yeah, that's, that's that Michael Lowe right there, bro. Y'all got to take notes. So, yeah, Trifecta, 3P, all that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, man, leave a like on the video, subscribe. Hope y'all like the, the, the last second content I put together with y'all. You see, I'm, I'm still in my, bro, I got taped off. I got the dude, y'all. Like, come on, bro. Like, still putting out the content. A little sick. Got the sniffles. But y'all and all, bro. RBP gang, RBP nation, RBP MMA, RBP box, RBP gang, RBP crew, RBP city, RBP nation, RBP country, RBP city. I'm out with the video. Come on. Oh, squad. Boom.